still a very pronounced hook echo. Inaccurate forecasts could mean the difference between life. And we now have a tornado emergency. In death. In the arc limits, weather changes fast. Bringing you an accurate forecast is our responsibility. But how does it all work? It starts with a weather balloon launched by the National Weather Service in Shreveport or Jackson. We launch weather balloons twice a day and that will sample the atmosphere from the surface of the earth all the way up to roughly 100,000 feet. Ed Tarver is in charge of the launch. This will probably go up to around 100,000 feet. The balloon will carry a device called a radio son, a lightweight device that will gather critical information about our atmosphere. This is what measures the uh, temperature. Then lift off. Let the balloon go. And it's off. Immediately, the balloon starts transmitting the data where it gets put into a computer. Then it is available for our weather team to use. We usually begin our day about two to three hours before the newscast. Predicting an accurate forecast begins with a clear understanding of what's currently going on. A stronger portion of the jet stream dipping down here. Your south wind ahead of the front. Then we forecast. Lastly, it's time to make our computer weather graphics. We make them in an order that tells you what the weather story for the day is. Now that we looked at all of our fancy computer models and we came over here and we put together all of our graphics, now it's time for the fun part, time to get out there and do the show. So we come over here to the green screen, which is blank. You can see there's no weather map behind me, but with one click of a button, ta-da, I got a weather map right behind me. And then... Stand by. The information gets to you from your weather authority, Dylan Robichaud, KNOE 8 News.